Right, I'm on location now. So I'm in uh, Booty National Park, just around the corner from McMaster's Beach. And here is my setup. There's my background. And sync, and sync second time. Okay, so I'm recording now. All right, so here I am in the wilderness. <laughs> Hi, it's Peter Zalem's Greeny Flix Adventure 8, and welcome to the new year, 2021. I hope it's gonna be a much more exciting year today. I'm in Booty National Park, and we're doing some more filming. So I've got a whole bunch of cameras. Audio is coming from the iPhone. Um, but then we've also got the Nikon Z6 with a Megadap adapter, autofocus adapter. And on there today, I've got the Nikon, or the Nikkor 50mm f1.2. Uh, I think I've got it set at f2 right now. So, and also the GoPro 9, so we can see exactly the environment that we're filming in. So you may have seen the video, earlier video I doing my Leica F1.4 35mm. That worked well with the Megadap adapter. I wanted to try out my old Nikkor lenses, the manual lenses, and see how that worked with the Megadap adapter. The Megadap adapter comes standard with the Z mount and the M mount. So I needed another adapter which then took the F mount, Nikkor, Nikkor F mount, or Nikon F mount, converted it to the M mount, so then it's an adapter that actually fits on the adapter. Now the good thing about it is that the adapter fits the Megadap. It doesn't interfere with the body in any way, so I can put the, Nikkor, the old Nikkor lens on the Z6, make the manual lens autofocus, which is fantastic. The great thing about uh, the Z6 and the eye following, whether you've got glasses or no glasses, I'll try it without glasses, uh, it seems to be working very well. There is a noise obviously associated with the Megadap autofocus mechanism, but when you have either a radio mic or you have, um, as I'm doing this, the, the audio on the iPhone, uh, then you're well away from all the noises that the camera's making. And you've got this beautiful scene here in the Booty National Park. Um, yeah, so, Long the short of it, I think it's working quite well. I'll take some stills with the um, 50 millimeter f1.2 and use the autofocus as well, and we'll see how that is. I'll show you some prints, I'll show you some images in this video as well from, from that. Yeah, focusing on these small cones. So I've adjusted the camera to f1.2 now, 50mm f1.2, and I'll take some more shots of these cones. Grab a shot here. This is the tree trunk. And we'll get what to focus on. Let's have a go at that. Take that fur in there. Shooting 1.2. Now I must admit, it's much easier with the autofocus, I think. Normally shooting with a 
Nikkor 1.2. It can be a real challenge to try and get the focus right. But with the Mega Dap, it seems to be working really well. Flowers here. Let's see whether we can grab that. Oh, I think it's got it. So we're doing this one handed bit, holding the phone. All right, what have we got here? We've got a spider web and a leaf in the spider web. Can I deal with Well, the great thing about um, one great thing about using the Mega Dap with the manual lens is you can do it one-handed, which is a great bonus. And shooting f/2 right now, I might try that same spider web at f/1.2, and let's see what we get. So. All right, I think that's enough of these shots. What's the time? It's lunchtime. Yippee! <laughs> what else can I say about 2021? Well, um, as I sort of mentioned in my previous videos, <laughs> 2020 has uh, given me a, a real good realization of the privileges of travel, up to you know, I guess the, the peak freedom that we had to travel around the world, um, the economy of travel around the world was, uh, relatively speaking, <laughs> the cheapest that it's ever been in the history of travel. And now with 2020 gone and um, a new way of living, it will be interesting to see how this all progresses in the years to come. So I guess we've just got to take advantage of the situation uh, appreciate wilderness as it is, appreciate the privilege of travel and just get out there regardless whether it's in your backyard or whether it's exercise according to the rules that you need to follow for COVID-19 or what, um, but you just need to get out and about. So, well, anyway, I wish everyone a really great 2021. Um, this year I will be progressing my YouTube channel. It still will be around the the, the theme of adventure travel, photography obviously associated with that and capturing images, all sorts of photography, whether it be people or portraits, landscape, uh, close-up photography, whatever. And there will be a review of equipment that I use and try out new equipment. That will be great. Um, on that equipment side, what I've realised... And it, you know, the, we've got so many options now when it comes to photography, whether it's on the iPhone or whether it's uh, a mirrorless camera or an adventure camera of some kind. No one camera does everything. And um, the great advantage these days with so much competition in photography and equipment, relatively speaking, a photographic equipment is cheap. And you have some high, high price stuff and the lower price stuff, but... There's no excuse not to actually go out and take a photograph of something and try and capture the best image you can. Try and tell a story with the image that, you, that you've captured uh, for your own sake and um, for your own memories and also to share with others. So that's what I'll be doing this year. Um, the other side of my channel, obviously associated with adventure travel is the motorcycle travel and also the four wheel drive travel here in Australia. Uh, I'll be capturing whatever I can and sharing it with you guys. Um, thank you again for my subscribers and anyone new to the channel, please do subscribe. Really appreciate it. And 
some of these trips, I uh, will be inviting people to come along. If, you, if you're interested in joining a motorcycle tour or a four-wheel drive tour, by all means, contact me. Um, for 2021, I suspect most of that's going to be here in Australia rather than overseas. If we are able to travel overseas in 2022, one of my first motorcycle trips will be Patagonia in South America. Again, um, thumbs up <laughs> or contact me if uh, you'd like to join that tour. Uh, you could be joining the tour from anywhere in the world. You just need to be able to get to, I suspect the starting point will be Ushuaia. Um, down in the bottom of Argentina. That's a great place to meet. Um, but anyway, more of that in the future. But for now, let's just focus on 2021 and make the most of it. So the, the point of this video, besides all the greetings 2021, was the Megadap adapter and how it works with the Nikkor 50mm f1.2. So right now I'm shooting uh, f2. Um, if I go to f1.4, I think it, it works. I think Mega Adapt do say that don't go below 1.4. I suspect there's not enough contrast. Um, and when you go to 1.2, it seems to be just on the verge of working or not working. So if you want to be sure, to be sure, to be sure, stick to f2. Um, but I think 1.4 does seem to work when you've got good lighting conditions. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up. Do subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheers.